Alrighty, welcome back to another great episode of Intentional Bonus Mom. And on this episode, I have... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm her fiancé, Billy, yes. So, we just finished watching um, Single Dad Seeking, and so we wanted to do a little bit of a recap on the show and throw our opinions in a little bit, because it didn't quite go down like that for us, but we did the online dating. Mm -hmm. And I'm the one with the two kids. Mm -hmm. And I was the one with no kids. So, we thought, this is something interesting we'd like to talk about. And a series that we just just premiered today, out of all days, Mother's Day. <laughs> I just thought of that. Well, it might help. Okay. So, I wrote down some notes as we watched the show, just to kind of help, um, help me remember everything that we talked about. So the first one that they had was Michael, and Michael was talking to Valine um, online, mm -hmm. and it, they lived. In, Michael and Mikey lived in Florida. Valine lived in New Jersey, which is also where the birth mother lived. Yes, this is in New Jersey. Yes, and Mikey was his son. Just in case y'all haven't started watching the show or y'all a little lost. Okay, so they met through online dating. Um, and he rented a, like, beach house for the summer so that they could meet. And he did mention he had primary custody of the son, that this is something that, um, they had, him and the ex had agreed on. He was never married to her. Um, but yeah, he was kind of worried about them being close because the birth, birth mom is an aggressive, I guess, an aggressive style. She's a scrapper. She'll get in your face and whatnot. He was concerned about that. Yes. So, um, they move, or he moves there with Mikey first. It looks like, like a day or so before Valine gets there. And I really liked, um, he seemed like a more playful dad. Um, he wanted a person with a motherly role to kind of come into their family um but he had to they had to understand that he was a dad first whoever that person was um they had video chatted so that was something that was common with both the dads they had video chatted and the kids actually saw the the girl on the other end or the mm -hmm. so yeah. and then the second one we meet um is Jake and he's a 34 year old dad of three he was married he was um he talks about his belief he was Mormon he talks about he was from a big family that um he did marry his wife they were married for 12 years and um he said you know things can be going a certain way and then you hit 30 and something about 30 can just can just change everything and he felt like for her that was it. Like, um, I don't remember if they said he had primary custody, but it seemed like he did. Yeah. Because it seemed like she must have just walked out. Now, we'll see more episodes to kind of follow up on that. Um, let's see. And his kids were like 11, 10, and then the little big girl was probably about five or six, I think. Yeah. So, um... And then her name was Amy, and she was 38, and she had no kids, just lived a single life. Yeah. Went and did a lot of traveling and stuff. Yes, she did want, at 38, she was like, something's missing, I want to settle down, and I want kids. And she thought it was a perfect way to, you know, have your instant family. They both did online dating. Um... I don't know. It didn't really say how long they were doing online mm -hmm. dating. Didn't they just... Both of these couples are doing the same thing about moving in for the summer to see how it's going to work. Out. Yes, and she actually came to him. Mm -hmm. So he must... I don't remember what his job was, but he apparently... He's a tile. He's a construction, does tile work. So maybe his job keeps him from being able to move like the other guy just up and move for two months. I'm like, I'd like to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leave for the summer. Okay, so 
so, so they go from talking about doing this, and so they talk to the kids, and they both were like, focused on their families, wanting what was best for their families. Um, let's see. Jake was talking about he didn't, he wasn't really good with structure, and that he was a pushover, and that's, he was looking for a mom for the kids as far as someone who could get the kids, give the kids more structure than he could, and create more boundaries. So, and I can relate to that. Okay, so then we talk about, okay, so after they talk to the kids about it, then they start talking to their family members about it. And Valene's family, or her sister, I don't remember any, them introducing anybody else, but the sister was asking all the common questions. What if you fall in love with the kids, but you have no connection with him? I mean, with you fall in love with Mikey, but you don't really have a connection with Michael. You know, what are you going to do? What happens if it doesn't work out? Mm -hmm. You know, where are you going to go? Are you going to stay? Kind of things. She asked those common questions like, how are you going to be able to get to know Michael? Yeah. And so I think those are really common questions that anybody asks. I mean, I know even... My family asked those questions. And I knew about, with me, that I needed to meet him first and get to know him. See if that connection was really there before meeting the kids. Because I said I was going to fall in love with the kids no matter what. And then I don't want to stay in a relationship because of the kids. So, that was, okay. So then, um, on Jake's side, Jake starts talking to his family. And he was from a big family. And he just talked about, since his divorce, how he thought that they knew each other. He thought they were connected. But after the divorce, they really rallied behind him and how he really felt close and he was thankful for his family. But when he went to talk to his family, he got different kind of responses from certain family members. One sister was like, I think this is crazy. What if y'all fall in love? And it was just like, she was total opposite from the other side or the other fam other members of the family were like yay this is exciting this is gonna be fun um so i don't know if maybe she's that one that actually speaks up and says what they're thinking or if maybe she was the one that um maybe had been there or the closest one to him when he was going through his divorce because he did say his divorce was really hard yeah so i thought that was interesting because she was like i think this is crazy this is nuts this is never gonna work and then when Amy, the girlfriend for Jake, um, went to talk to her parents, her parents were concerned, not that she, about being an instant stepmom or having an instant family. Um, they were just thinking, what if there's no connection and you've made this big, huge decision to go somewhere and all that. But the mom did say at the end that she would support her with any decision she made and I remember saying there now I was like she's 38 mm -hmm. like you gotta let her make her own decisions you know and if this doesn't work then okay but anyway that was really interesting um okay so those are my notes oh I did think it was funny they had a couple things like with Michael him um Telling his son, you're going to have to flush the toilet after you go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I was like, those were so typical conversations with the with a five-year-old. Like, you got to remember to brush your teeth, and you got to remember to flush the toilet, and you got to remember to put the toilet seat down. You know, it's just kind of like yeah. those common things that you talk about with kids. So, I definitely think this series has a potential to be really, really good. Because I feel like it's going to show the real struggles that couples deal with bringing blended families together yeah and stuff so it's going to be different um and especially with valine she was concerned with um having her quality t a long time with mike and uh you know how is she going to get to be with him or having their long time together and and she kind of raised some concerns of of that and she even talked about, like, she wasn't used to being around little kids. She doesn't have much experience around kids, and so it's all new for her. Yeah, so I feel like she might struggle a little bit at first, trying to find her place. 
Mm-hmm. And I think that's with any couple that, especially when you start blending families together, uh, is trying to find your place and how this is going to work. I like this. So I think this series is really going to show the real moments, yeah. the real struggles and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. We were talking about during the commercial break too, like moving in with somebody like the first time you meet them and I was like, nope, wouldn't have done it. Yeah. But would you have? If it was like she was on the other foot and I had the kids. Mm. No, I think it's a little too far. I got to, you got to meet. Like the way that we went about it. You have to meet, get to know the person, and then get to know the kids after a while. And then once it becomes that time, it's that time. Yeah, because with me, I was like, I'm not meeting your kids. It's not that I don't want to meet your kids. I'm just not meeting your kids. Because I needed to know that we had some kind of connection before meeting kids and putting kids in the middle of it. And I said, you know, I'm not judging them for what they did. Like, they... They chose to do this on national TV and everything else, and right, they did it for the show because the you know they, the show probably put out something like, hey, we're looking for this and this style, this style that want to go and look for this, and so they probably took a lot of time in setting all this stuff up and then finding somebody that would agree to do this stuff or to go that route. So it probably did take them a, a couple of. A lot of online dating and different stuff like that to get to that point to where, hey, we're gonna we're gonna do this. It's a part of the show. So on top of that, you got camera crew following you around everywhere. You got whatnot. Maybe they come at their certain times during the day or whatever. Yeah, I just thought it was really interesting. I mean, it's definitely a different way of doing it. It's like a wham. You know, here you go. Can you handle this? Can you not? Yeah. So, I definitely think it's interesting. Although, I know for me, I was like, I would have been, no. But, each person does their own thing. There's probably a lot more safety th- procedures behind the camera that you don't see. Yeah. But other than that, the first episode was good. It was. It was interesting. It went by really fast. Um, Valine and Michael, they met and they actually went to the beach. And so it seemed like they, she talked about the instant connection that she had, you know, attraction to him and everything. And then their episode ended with going to the beach and hanging but out But if your talking. instant connection is on based on looks, that is not something that's going to last. That's I agree. my opinion. Yeah, I agree. And then they had where Amy and Jake met and he had was picking her up from the hotel and she got all excited and they hugged and everything and then they were really nervous and then... They got in the car and it just kind of whoop, conversation ended. We've had some of those moments too. <laughs> yeah, they're real Awkward. moments. It's like, uh, what are we gonna talk about now? So and she was like, "I've been dreaming up this moment, and that's not what I thought." But it takes two to tango. You can bring up a conversation as well. Yeah. Everybody's nervous on the same page. You could clearly tell because he couldn't even find his keys. <laughs> And they were in his pocket. Mm-hmm. It was like, that's normal. That that's like fun. one time she was asking where her phone was and it was in her hand. And she was, where is my phone? Where is my phone? <laughs> See? So, it works. It's normal. <laughs> and it looks like next week we'll actually meet up with two more dads. One dad has like four kids. And I don't know how many the other dad had. It's going to be interesting. There's one couple that looks like they have teenagers. So then oh, yeah. Like, that's what he that's had along the, the line of what we have right now. So Yeah, with a soon-to-be 15 and 11-year-old. I think it does. It's different connecting with older kids versus little kids. Little kids, I think you, you've got it made. But what you got right now is the teenage. They're already so hard-headed and going into their own ways that... It's harder to make those connections, and it's harder to build a relationship with older kids. Yeah. So I agree. But it looks promising, so stay tuned as we continue to watch and making these little dialogue videos. 
of what we think about this new series. Mm. So, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, if you watched and like to keep the discussion going, leave a comment down below, and let's keep talking. See you guys later.